Hola, hola, hola. Hello, 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 my beautiful planner baby divas. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Daniela, the planning diva. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me here today. I am currently reporting live from the Hodgson Meadow Campground in Yosemite National Park. We just got here last night. Um, it is Saturday morning, April the 20. Seventh, We drove up all day Friday basically to get here and we got here around 8 p.m. And we drove into the park and then drove up here to the Hodgson Meadow Campground and uh, hung out for a bit with everyone. We're here with Steven, um, my good friend Ethan, and then his friends Arjun and Dana who joined us for this camping trip. So we're really, really excited. We're here for the entire weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And then we're driving home um, on Monday, April the 29th, which is my birthday actually. So I am going to attempt to be vlogging our camping trip. Um, it's been a long, long time since I've been here in Yosemite. Probably around four years ago was the last time I was here. And um, this is my, um, my second time. So I've only been here once before but yeah we just had a really really good night's rest it's really cold so i'm in this like humongous parka that i'm like so happy that i brought i just actually bought it um when i went thrifting um earlier this week i saw this and i was like this is perfect for yosemite so steven's actually making breakfast everyone else is still in their tents um sleeping probably because it's still really really freaking cold it took me a lot of effort to get out of my sleeping bag and get up out here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to the restroom, wash my face, and then help Steven with breakfast. Let's get the day started. I'm excited to show you um, the park. We're definitely going to be hiking a lot, um, hanging out in the valley, and then you know, in the evening, we'll come back here to the campground and just hang out and have fun. So let's get the day started. How's cooking breakfast, babe? It's good. What you got here? Got bacon. You see the burner's a little focused on the center here. So these pieces I'll take. The burner's focused on the center here? Oh, it's, it's burned here. Oh. I can't believe you used that pan. It's nice for bacon. No way. Yeah, because it's big. I feel like the grease is going to fall out. Yeah, I'm going to pour it out into the fire pit. Okay. But after I put these pieces... Heading up to the camp toilets here. Look how gorgeous this campground is. So beautiful, so wooded, so stunning, so nice to be here. Like, it feels so relaxing and peaceful here. This is why I love camping so much. Um, so this is the camp toilets. Um, Pretty standard flush toilets, which is nice. Um, and some sinks. So let's go bathroom. So these are the camp toilets. No one's in here yet. Um, three stalls, amazing. And two sinks and two mirrors. Hi. So we actually have a bit of a walk-in campsite, it's called, in that you have to park your car up here, kind of like in a small parking area at the top of the hill. And then the campsites are all spread out down here. So it is a tiny bit of a walk. You're not driving up right into the campsite um, like a lot of campsites. So this was called a um, a walk-in campsite. So our campsite's actually over there in the corner. We chose this campsite, campsite specifically because we looked at a lot of reviews online and we found that this one was like the one that had the flattest areas and also kind of spaced out from other sites. Um, although we are kind of on top of this other site, number 26 here. And um, they haven't arrived. I'm not sure if they're going to arrive. We might not just have booked the site. Um, we'll see, but in the meantime, we've been using their bear box and their area, but hopefully they don't arrive so that way we can um, kind of spread out a little bit and have a little bit of privacy. There's also that site down there, which is site number 25. Um, that one looks a lot more sloped than this one. I think we definitely chose the best site 
here with number 24. Huh, babe? Yeah, that's great. I slept really well. Yeah. No one asked you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I did too. Ooh, babe is making yeah. breakfast. Let's get into it. Okay, we just started the ascent of Yosemite Falls. Not sure how much we're gonna do here. A couple of miles. And uh, it's gonna be a great hike. The fall looks fantastic. On the road again. Beautiful. That's great. It's amazing. View from the hike up to Yosemite Falls. It's carved out. It's amazing. Steep, steep, steep trail. Super steep. Crazy. We earned this view. Here from Half Dome, Yosemite. Crazy. What a climb. Amazing. Life changing. I'm sweating though. It's a workout. I don't know how many miles we're gonna go up, but it's gonna be amazing. Okay, catch you at the summit. Wow, look at that, look at that. Descending down our first glance of Yosemite Falls. Ah, it's amazing. Look at that. I have to be careful on this trail though. It is very intense. Coming here. We're here with the crew, Ethan and Steven and myself, taking a little breather. It's been intense, an intense climb. Really, really good work in the glutes. This is definitely going in my fitness planner. <laughs> uh, but look at this view. That's our view right now from our little chilling spot. Couldn't ask for more. Okay, we are heading down from Yosemite Falls viewpoint. Gotta keep my eyes on the trail because it's really steep. But yeah, we made it there and um, we're gonna turn back now and head back down to the car. It was quite a climb up, so it's gonna be quite a descent. Whew, just gotta focus and get through it. See you at the trailhead. Hello, we made it back to the valley floor. Whew, what a hike. I think it was about eight miles. My Fitbit says 33,000 steps. So that's crazy. But I'm looking forward to a nice uh, dinner and hang out at camp. How are you feeling, babe? Oh, I'm wiped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wiped. That was a lot nice. harder than I, uh, than I expected. Are you ready to get into your hiking? Your get, get back into backpacking your yeah, workout I need to, routine? I need to, I'm going to change my life after this. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny, babe. <laughs> okay, we're back on the bridge here. This is where we started off the morning with that waterfall. I cannot believe we were up there. That's insane. Um, but now we're heading back to the parking lot. I'm going to go to the restroom and get into the car again. Okay, so we stopped by the village store to get some firewood and let's see what else is in here. We're back at the campsite. We did it. We did Yosemite Falls. I think it was like seven or eight miles. We were up there for a bit. It was tough. My legs are feeling it. But we're here at camp now. It's chilly. I have my little smoky bear sweater on. Love it. I got some patches and stickers at the camp store, but I think tomorrow is going to be my big like shopping day here in the Yosemite Valley. So now we're just going to um, get set up for dinner, I think. I just changed into my like comfy camp outfit, clean shirt, clean bra, um, my smoky bear hoodie and some clean sweatpants and then i'm gonna also throw on 
my big old jacket in a second here. What a crazy hike. It was amazing. Ethan, look who it is. What's up? How are you feeling? Oh my gosh. That was that was strenuous, but it was so good. It was beautiful. It was crazy. It was misty. It yeah. was sunny. It was, yeah. It was gorgeous. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting to dinner tonight. Oh yeah, we're doing Peruvian chicken Ooh. with ají amarillo. So, oh my god. Yeah, it'll be good. You're living it up. Yes. Yay. A uh, little saffron, wow. lots of paprika. My it's God. not too spicy, it's ahi amarillo. Wow. And, um, We're so <laughs> spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so spoiled right now. You're you're gonna um you're gonna this is gonna be like your YouTube how to cook <laughs> this recipe um on the camp. Look how amazing. Now we're cooking some okay, chicken skewers be, with some sweet out. peppers. It looks yeah, so be, good. We're trying our hardest not to burn everything. Yeah, oh, is this, working? Yeah. this looks amazing. Uh, this looks amazing. Uh, good job, guys. Why don't you take good job. Here, you wanna? Good morning, everyone. Forgot to close up the vlog last night, but we just had a good dinner, a dessert. Um, Ethan made a s'mores tart, which is delicious. And then I crawled into my tent and I passed out. And I slept well. Um, I slept really well last night. But this night, I still slept well, but not as well as last night. I woke up in the middle of the night because my sleeping pad, this orange thing, had deflated. Because I forgot to um, close the in valve. I have to close both the valves so it won't deflate. So, um, I forgot to close the in valve and so it deflated like at four in the morning. I woke up and I was completely on the flat pad. So I had to like, um, fill it with air again. And then I went back to sleep. But I still feel pretty refreshed. I look at my planner bag here. I'm hoping to get some planner time in today. Just hang out at the camp today and relax. But look at this view that I have outside. This is the view that um, I woke up to. So this is a little window in our tent here. Um, there's still mesh there, but you can just like see the woods and it's so nice. There's our tent, um, like the bag our tent comes in. And there's another site actually back there, but no one ever came to use that site. But um, yeah, this is our little tent and Steven already got up. And he's gonna go make breakfast. He's getting into the bear locker over there. But um, yeah, this is Arjun and Dana's tent, Ethan's friends, and then Ethan's tent is over there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get up as well, make coffee, and start day two of Yosemite 2024. <laughs> Breakfast at camp. We're all hanging out here at camp. Steven's cooking bacon, coffee, hash browns, and eggs. Can't wait for breakfast. Okay, while well, Steven's getting breakfast ready, I think I'm going to break down the tent. We gotta break it down because we're actually moving campsites. Right now we're at the Hodgson Meadow Campground. We got in here Friday and then stayed here Friday night and Saturday night. Saturday night. But for some reason this campsite, it was reserved, which is strange to me. I feel like usually people reserve it like Friday through Sunday, but this campsite starting is reserved starting tonight. So we had to move to another campsite in another campground. So we're going down to um, Wawona campground. So we have to get out of here by noon and then get over there and check in in that campground. So I'm gonna break down my tent.
All right, we're packing the car now to leave Hodgdon Meadow Campground. It was such a beautiful campground. Steven's packing the car. We're gonna fit everything back into the Prius. Uh, meanwhile, I think I'm gonna go to the restroom. I'm gonna go back up to the restroom up there. So I um, just wanna get it out before we get back into the car because I think it's about an hour to the, other, to the next campground. Oh, look at all the kids playing over there in the woods. How wholesome. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. Okay, we stopped at the little visitor center that's right outside Hodgdon Meadow Campground. I'm gonna get my book stamped here. We stopped by here yesterday to like just get information from the park and such. I didn't stamp my book, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my book. I already got some stickers. We have a bunch of travel stamp stickers. I got this one for my um, for my passport book, but I might get some other goodies while we're here. Ooh, are you gonna get that, babe? That's a, that's a nice one. I'm gonna get a pin too. Let's see what they have. I'm gonna get postcards as well for my planner. Such cute stuff here. Yay! I got it stamped. How cute is this? I love that so much. Um, and then I'm gonna put a sticker here. So cute. We stopped by Crane Flat to get some gas. Steven is pumping some gas here. Um, that's one thing I always thought like that. Um, you can talk. It's okay. Y'all can talk. Y'all can talk. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, that's one thing that I always thought about like visiting a national park is that I always thought that there were no gas stations in the park. That's awesome. That's but awesome. for major national parks, you definitely have gas stations up in the um up in the park so don't feel like you have to come in with like a full tank of gas or like a gas tank in the car so we're getting our gas right now and we got a bunch of goodies at the yosemite conservancy oh my goodness i got a bunch of stuff okay we've arrived at our second campsite wawona campground and we have a whole stream flowing right in front of our campground, which is amazing. Bear box, picnic table, everyone's setting up their tents. We just got here. Steven's setting up our tent over here. So I'm gonna go help him right now. This is our view from our little camp here. So we just set up camp, uh, that's our tent. And right in front is this beautiful, beautiful river. Look at this, this is fantastic to be like right in front of this gorgeous stream. Wow. Look at this sub. I heard this wrong, no. Ethan's making it's so subs humid. right now. His yeah, iconic sub, fun. and it looks <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah, delicious. Yeah, so everything that. goes in the fridge. Ah. Yeah. Is this the one you Okay, the we're heading back into Yosemite Valley. We just had lunch at the campsite here, and we're heading into the valley just to check things out and um, go to the visitor center and such. So, about 40 40 minutes to to get into the valley and then yeah we're just gonna hang out down there and have some fun so let's go
Okay, so we arrived at Curry Village in Yosemite Valley. It's right underneath Half Dome right there. That's so beautiful. Ethan forgot his wallet in the car, so he had to go get it. But this is um, just so stunning. We're just going to check out what's going on in Curry Village. Uh, it looks fun, so we're going to get into it. Let's go. <laughs> I, try to, I try my best to keep up. Okay, on. we just stopped by Bar 1899. And we're just hanging out here in the patio, getting day drunk. <laughs> what a beautiful view, though. Like, this is amazing. All right, cheers, everyone. We got to do a cheers. Cheers, cheers babe. Cheers. cheers. Woo. Okay, now we're going to head to the um, Welcome Center. I think this is the Visitor Center. I already got a lot of uh, trinkets and such, but I'm always down to go for a little bit more shopping. So let's see what's going on here. All right, we stopped for lunch here in front of Tunnel View. We're gonna have some sandwiches and cookies. You gotta show them that view and too. Yeah, I gotta show. I gotta I show you all this. Check to. out <laughs> our <laughs> lunch <laughs> view. This is our view for lunch. There's El Capitan over there. Bridal Veil Falls over there. Uh, there's a tree here, so you can't really see Half Dome in the distance but it is stunning either way. So we're just gonna have our little lunch and then head back to the campground. Sandwich, is somebody. Can't get much better than that. Shower. <laughs> okay, uh, settled in. I'm in my tent. Ooh, you can't see with the sun there. Uh, but look at that view with the with the stream in the front amazing but i'm in my tent i'm gonna lie down a bit and read um my book that i'm reading right now this is octavia butler's dawn i'm reading this as part of a book club i am in with amy shout out to amy girl thank you for getting us into this book club the pan dulce society book club which, by the way, if anyone is interested in being in a book club, please, please come hang out with us. Um, Amy put together this amazing book club. And right now we're reading um, Dawn. But I'm going to be reading this and enjoying just the view and the sounds and the peacefulness. Stephen and Ethan went to go um, wade in the stream. They went to go swim, which is insanity to me. I would not, could not be me. I am going to be snug as a bug in the rug here in the tent. So, I'm just gonna sit down, lay down, and read some good sci fi. What an amazing day so far. Like, this is literally the life. I cannot believe. I am so blessed to be here um, just hanging out at the campsite with a good book. Like, so blessed. <laughs> ah! burns all right now we're setting up the fire it's definitely getting chilly out here um so we had to get the fire out and i can't wait to make hot cocoa mm -hmm. i'm definitely cold i bundled up in my super intense parka i'm so happy that i brought this 20 bucks best 20 bucks spent invested in an article of clothing this thing has been saving me this entire trip. I'm very happy with it. But yeah, we're just gonna chill here at the campsite and then we'll have dinner in a bit. I'm definitely gonna have hot cocoa and finish up that s'mores tart. Do we have any more of the s'mores yeah, tart? Nice. Okay. <gasps> Dibs. No, just kidding. <laughs> we're gonna have dessert, dinner, and uh, just relax here. I'm so relaxed and the stream in the background is amazing. Dinner time at the camp. We're making smash burgers. I'm very excited for this. Are you excited for smash burgers? Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite meals. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really good. All right, we finally made it to camp dinner. Steven is making smash burgers. Look at him go. He is the king of smash burgers. How do you feel about cooking right now, babe? Oh, I'm having a, I'm having a blast. You're having really a blast? I like really like this uh, recipe. Yeah, it's so oh, good. I don't know if you call it a recipe. I'm already like halfway done through mine. 
Ethan is like almost done with his. It's so good. It is really good. It's so good. Hello, good morning. It is Sunday? No. Monday, April 29th. It's my birthday. Woo! Yay! <laughs> I'm losing track of the time. Oh my goodness, it's already Monday, April 29th. We have to go back to civilization. We have to return to our day jobs. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it's our last day here in Yosemite National Park. Um, I just got up. I forgot to close the vlog again. Um, but yeah, we just had dinner, sat around the campfire for a bit. And then I just got into bed, got into the tent and passed out. Just got up, went to the bathroom real quick. Now I'm just wandering around here in front of the campsite, just hanging out. Um, yeah, and uh, today we don't have that many plans because um, today is our drive back day. So we're driving back down to San Diego. It'll take us like eight, nine hours around there, somewhere around there. So I think we're just gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna pack up and then we might do like a two mile hike, just a quick little hike, one last little hike before we get into the car for eight hours. And we're driving back today, so that's exciting. Uh, I am excited to go back home, see my pugs, see my babies, but I'm going to miss Yosemite National Park so much. It was such a good trip. Ugh, it was fantastic. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hang out at camp, waiting for people to get up. And then we're gonna cook breakfast and um, start packing to head out. So sad. The end of a trip is always so sad. Hello, Ooh, hello. Um, we just parked at the Mariposa Grove and we're just gonna walk around, check things out and maybe see if there's another visitor center. Um, but we'll see what's going on over here. Look at this. It's like a cross section of a sequoia tree. It's so cool. I wonder if that store is open. I might go check it out. Look at this, the oh, big the tree thing. is nature's forest masterpiece. And so far as I know, the greatest of living things. Amazing. We just went into the visitor center here. It's a small little store. Oh, there I am. Maybe I'm gonna get a squirrel for Daisy. I think she would really like this. We'll see what we get. Okay, we finished our little shopping and I think we're gonna get into the car and start driving down. We had this idea of stopping by a cute little town that we saw on our way up. Um, so we might do that for lunch. Maybe it's an hour away or so. But check out the uh, entrance to the park. This is the south side entrance to the park and it looks like um, it's getting busy already. So if you're planning on coming into the park, a little bit of a wait. We stopped by the Mountain Cafe Diner for breakfast. Got the crab cakes Benedict. It's so good. This is delicious. We got America. America. Yeah. It's American Diner. Mm -hmm. We love Very it. American <laughs> Diner. Can't wait to get into this. So we just finished breakfast at the diner, um, waiting for the guys to come finish going to the bathroom. And they're here! Woo! <laughs> and I guess we might stop by a store or two and check things out, but then we're going to do um, a long, long road trip back down to San Diego. I think it might be six to seven hours at this point. So we'll have to settle into the drive. Let's see what we get into before we leave this cute little town, though. Let's go. And just like that, we're home. Here we are, home sweet home. I'm back in my little cozy um, office nook. And yeah, that's it. We're unpacked, shower's waiting. Cannot wait to get into the shower because I am so stinky. Three days of camping and hiking will definitely do that to you. So cannot wait to go shower. 
and we didn't do too much since we had brunch at that one place. Um, we had brunch, we went to one store, didn't see too much. So then we just got back on the road and then we drove all the way home. We did stop for ice cream in Los Angeles. We stopped at the Wanderlust Creamery. I had to pick up my favorite ice cream, which is mango sticky rice ice cream. So good. So we picked up a pint of that. I'm very excited because if you buy a pint of their ice cream, it comes with this super cute like cooler with the brand of the, um, of the ice cream creamery on it. So cute. And then we just drove all the way home. We got here about like 7.30, I want to say. And then we just walked to the Pugs and it's almost 8 right now. So yeah, I'm just going to shower. I'm going to try to unpack a couple of things. And I'm going to settle in for the night because we do have to work tomorrow. So I got to do that. But it was an excellent trip and I hope you all have enjoyed this vlog. The last clip I'm going to put in here is I'm going to do a little like haul of all the stickers and trinkets and such that I got at the visitor centers. And then that will end the video. So I hope you enjoy my little uh, Yosemite haul. So let's check out what I got. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Welcome to the last clip of the vlog. I always like ending vlogs with a little haul of all the goodies that I picked up. And at Yosemite National Park, there was a lot of good shopping, a lot of good visitor centers. And I picked up quite a bit of things for my scrapbooking, stickers, postcards. Um, I also picked up some patches and pins and some apparel and some just other goodies. So I always like sharing with you all what I picked up. So without further ado, here's all the goodies that I got. And I think I'll start with all of like the bigger items. Um, <laughs> I got this squirrel. Okay, let's start off with the squirrel. I got this super cute little squirrel. It's a little plush squirrel. And I got it for Daisy because she loves to play with toys. And um, I thought she would like this one. And she has played a lot with it since we got home. Um, she really, really likes this squirrel. Bugs used to love these a lot when he was a puppy. He loved like the more realistic looking plushies. So I got her, um, I got her this one because I thought she might like it. Bugs always loved when plushies had these like kind of more textured um, pieces to them. Bugs doesn't play with um, plushies or toys as much as when he was a young pup. But um, Daisy still plays with toys, so I got Daisy this. I also got a mug. This is a gorgeous, like, stone uh, glazed mug. It is beautiful. And I actually have um, a green Yosemite mug, kind of similar to this, but in a different shape that I got the last time I was in Yosemite. And I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to get another mug. And I really, really liked this one. I love the coloration on it and the glazing. And I love the shape of the mug as well as like the bear that's on the mug. I wanted to celebrate the first bear that um, I saw ever. And so I saw this mug and I had to get it. And I just love mugs as well. I love kind of collecting mugs. I did get a shirt. Um, I always try to get at least one like shirt at a national park just because they're great relaxing shirts, camping shirts. Um, so I got this one. It's a long sleeve, 100% cotton. Um, and it says Camp Yosemite Hiking Club. I love that it's in this pastel yellow with the pink script on it. And we have Half Dome here, super, super cute. And on the back is just a map of Yosemite National Park. Very cool. So I got that. Then I also got this little keychain. It says Yosemite California and has a bear kind of surfing, I guess. It looks like a bear on a little like ice flow. And I really like, for some reason, I really like um, keychains or magnets that have like a, a little like liquid thing that are filled with a liquid and something's floating in it and bobbing in it. For some reason, I really, really like these things. I have no idea why. Uh, so I grabbed this and I also wanted to celebrate that it, we saw a bear. So it had a little bear in it. So I picked that up. I got this guy. This is a collection of 10 panoramic postcards. I love using these in scrapbooking um, and I really like the big ones because they really fill up the pages of the big happy planner. And so we have just a collection of these really gorgeous, gorgeous scenes. Um, really beautiful. Oh, that one's gorgeous of Half Dome there. Yosemite Valley, beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be scrapbooking with these. I picked up a pack of that. I got this as well. This is a Bark Ranger um, bandana. And I actually got this for my friend's dog. 
Um, this is a little too big for the pugs, so I didn't get it for them, but this would be perfect for my friend's dog, so I wanted to get her that. And then I also got this. I've seen this before in visitor centers, and I've never picked it up because I just, I never, you know, bit the bullet and got it. But I finally decided to um, pick this up. And this is a scrapbooking kit, which um, comes with scrapbook paper, stickers, and um, all sorts of things for journaling and such. I can't believe I haven't picked this up before. Should I open it? Yeah, let's open it. I'll show you what's in here. I can't believe I haven't picked this up before because it is like such a thing that I would buy. So, okay, let's see here. Um, it comes with these two like photo frames that are cool. Um, some stickers here. Um, we have more photo frames. Very cool. And then we have these like, um, I'm not sure exactly what these are. They're like kind of die cuts, but they're not stickers. Interesting. And then we have some scrapbook paper here. I really like this one with the National Park Service logo on it. We have um, an American flag scrapbook paper. This would be good for 4th of July. Oh, I really like this one with the different um, parks and the passport book there. I really like that one as well. And then we have this one, which seems like I could put a picture here. Um, this this one's nice. And then we have just some scrapbook paper in different colors. Interesting. Um, I wish that we had more of the designs instead of these like simple colors because this is essentially construction paper here. I can get that in any store, but um, it is what it is. And then we have more of those like die cuts that aren't necessarily stickers, um, but you can like punch them out. They're perforated and you can use these essentially like stickers if you just glue them, glue on the back. So that is the scrapbooking kit. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think I can do a lot with this in my flagship creative journal. So I'm happy I picked this up. I've been meaning to pick that up. Every time I see it, I want to pick it up and I never do. So I finally did. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff I got are stickers, postcards, patches, pins. And this is all from the Yosemite Conservancy. Okay, so here's all the stuff I got. Uh, I got a magnet. Ooh, super super cute i always get a magnet whenever i go travel to a new place my fridge is covered in magnets and i wanted an, a yosemite magnet i do have another yosemite magnet from the last time i went but that one has all of the different rock faces on it and i wanted one that was a little bit more like um a little bit more cozy and i love that it had little bear paws on it because again I wanted to celebrate the fact that we saw a bear for the first time so I saw this one and it was so cute. So I picked that up. I got this beautiful pin with Half Dome. It says Yosemite National Park. I love collecting pins. I wear them on my jackets, on my scarves, on my backpacks. Um, so I, I really like that one. So I picked that one up. I got this lapel pin as well. And this one was of Half Dome. Half Dome is just so iconic and gorgeous. And we really got some good views of it on our hike. So I wanted to pick that one up. I got this patch here, beautiful Yosemite National Park with the little bear and the stream. I think this one I might put on my pencil case. So this is my pencil case with all of my um, National Park patches. If it fits here, I might put it on here. It might not fit, we'll see. But if it doesn't fit on my pencil case, I'll put this one on my craft cart. I have like a canvas craft cart from Joann's that I like putting patches on. This is actually um, Steven's pin. He picked this up for his sister. It's the same design as this patch here, but it's in a pin form. So that's actually Steven's. I got this patch, Keep Bears Wild Yosemite Wild Bear Project. I just love collecting patches for my um, craft cart. So I thought that one was cute and I picked that one up. I got this adorable sticker. It's a little camp scene. I love the little tent with the fire and the trees surrounding the campsite and the two uh, campers just hanging out. Um, I just love camping scenes. And so I got that sticker. I got this sticker. It's that same design as this pin here. And I actually got both the sticker, the, the patch and the pin because I think this design is gorgeous. I love it. 
Um, again, this patch is going to be for my craft cart, and then the sticker is for my journaling. And then I got a National Park sticker, and I got this sticker here for my passport book. So this is my passport book where I keep, um, you know, all of my stamps, my cancellation sticker, I mean my cancellation stamps from when I visited different national parks. So I just got my stamp um, here when we went. I've actually, you know, gotten the stamp before the first time I went to Yosemite in 2018, I believe. But that was when I had my smaller passport book. Now I have the big passport book. So I'm slowly collecting all those stamps that I had gotten before. And um, I, I got the sticker here for um, this section here. Technically, um, this book, you're supposed to use like the stamp stickers um, that are meant for this book. But I honestly don't mind not using those stickers sometimes i like these stickers better like the national park stickers and so i'll just use like whatever sticker i end up picking up at the visitor center and a lot of the times visitors visitor centers don't have the the actual um regional stamp i think you can order them online but i honestly don't care enough to do that i'll just pick up a sticker at the visitor center and then i'll put it um, here in the book. So now I have my sticker and my stamp in my national uh, passport book here. And then I got some postcards. I got a couple. So let's pull out all the postcards. Yeah, these are all the postcards I got. Um, I had to get this one, the Mariposa Grove of Giant Sequoias. We didn't spend a lot of time here, actually. We just stopped by um, just a little bit, but I did go and do a big hike here the last time I went. And then I got some postcards from the valley itself. This is the view from um, when you descend into the valley from Tunnel View. Uh, it's so gorgeous. El Capitan here, uh, Half Dome, the three sisters or the three brothers here. Another view of Half Dome and looking out into the Sierras. This is looking eastward. So gorgeous. Um, had to get this one, El Capitan. That rock face is absolutely overwhelming and stunning. And then this is Yosemite Falls, I believe. Yeah, Yosemite Falls. We actually hiked up Yosemite Falls up to, I think, maybe around here. It was such a brutal hike. So happy we did it, though. It was absolutely stunning. And we saw a lot of waterfalls this time around. Um, it's that time of year. Snow is melting. And so I wanted a postcard that commemorated that. So I got this one with all of the five major Yosemite waterfalls. Beautiful. So those are the postcards I got. And then the rest of the stuff I have here is stickers. So I got this die cut sticker, so cute. It says visit Yosemite with the little RV camp there. I'm thinking of putting this on my, um, my bear can. I'm thinking of potentially starting to put stickers on my bear can. I think that would be fun. So I got that one. I got this um, historical park sticker. I really, really like these um, historical poster like stickers so i had to get that one i got this die cut sticker beautiful and then i got this a large camping sticker happy camper sticker like i said i love anything that says happy camper on it anything that's like cozy camping scene totally me so i had to get this one and then i got this um foiled bear sticker that says yosemite national park i really liked the foil on it and I also like that there is a bear on it. Again, I'm so excited that I got to see my first bear, my first black bear. So I'm also thinking of potentially putting this uh, on my bear can, but also thinking I might just put this in my planner. And then I got one last die cut sticker um, with half dome and it says the mountains are calling and I must go with Yosemite here in the corner. And I think this one's going to go on my car because I like putting um, die cut stickers on my car, on the back of my car. And that's everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's probably an hour or so long so please let me know if you made it all the way to the end i really appreciate you if you did and with that i hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe god bless you have a beautiful time um, playing in your planners this week don't forget you are a lovely lovely human being take very good care of yourselves and happy planning adios